Hey guys, my name is Dice Rowan, and joining me is Nightmare Maven. You all know her, you all love her, and if you don't... Music is something that I have always adored, and over the years I've discovered quite a few songs that were used in or made specifically for several different horror movies. Today, we wanted to share with you some of our absolute favorite horror movie songs. Now these will be individual songs and not complete soundtracks or scores, but if you guys enjoyed this video then it's very possible that I can make another video in the future talking about some of my favorite soundtracks and scores. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see. So let's begin with my special guest's picks. Hey there creepy peeps, Nightmare Maven here to share my favorite songs featured in a horror movie, horror movie songs, however we're gonna phrase this. So we all know how easily a well done score can just become iconic and instantly recognizable to the movie it was made for and I feel like songs from a soundtrack can become just as notable to certain movies. So much so that it becomes irrevocably linked to that film where when somebody hears the song, they instantly think of that movie, which is pretty much <laughs> the reasoning I put every single song that I did on my list. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the 2006 iconically cringe movie, The Covenant. I'm not sure that this entirely counts, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway. Sorry, Dice. It's all right. Uh, because it's the opening <laughs> credit scene where this song is, so it's not like really in the movie. But it is in the movie, you know? I vividly remember going to see this movie just in general in theaters when it came out. And I think I personally experienced a cultural reset during the opening sequence of this movie, which features the song More Human Than Human, the Meet Bambi in the King's Harem mix. 15 year old Maven was shooketh. At that moment in time, I'm pretty sure I hadn't heard a cooler song in my entire life. And the opening credit sequence to The Covenant is forever etched in my brain. And when this song comes on, it's just instant. <laughs> Next song I wanna mention is One Thing Leads to Another by The Fix, as it is featured in The House of the Devil. Before we get into it, what an iconic dance break in a horror movie, right? I love the song choice in this particular moment for many reasons. Um, the first being because this movie is such a slow burn, like up until this scene, not really anything has happened yet. And the, the lyrics and the title of the song is kind of how I <laughs> might describe this movie to somebody. So you have this girl who's house sitting for an eccentric family, one thing leads to another, and they're trying to impregnate her with the spawn of Satan. Secondly, I think it's just a brilliant bridge moment for this movie. Like I mentioned, up until this scene, not much has really happened. There's been maybe one or two kind of mildly creepy scenes, but Samantha's dancing around the house leads to her bumping into some furniture, which leads to her discovery that this family that she's house sitting for is actually very dangerous which leads to the batshit craziness that is the ending of this movie. And I just have to point out here that I obviously had heard this song many, many times before this movie ever came out. <laughs> and the use of it during this scene is just so iconic that now every time I hear the song, I think of that scene, which I just think is very notable. <laughs> For this next song, I just wanna mention really quick, whether you believe me or not, as I was writing my notes, for this <laughs> as soon as I got to this part red right hand started to play on my Spotify like meant to be I love the song so much obviously if I have it saved on my Spotify <laughs> the song itself is just so unique on its own like with the bells the organ it just sounds like such a quirky and unique song and it's instantly recognizable like it just, it just stands out on its own already. So putting it in such a popular movie like Scream, of course it's gonna just elevate that even more. I really don't think I have to say much more than that. It's just an iconic bit of music. My next choice is probably 
my most basic choice, but I don't care. Uh, it's Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. <laughs> I, I couldn't not mention it. It's a bop. Not only that, but it perfectly matches the tone of the Ghostbusters movies, and it instantly gets me hype. It's like the music equivalent of just injecting a couple shots of espresso right into my veins. <laughs> like I'm sure many of you do, I watch Ghostbusters a couple times, usually throughout the year, especially during spooky season, but the song alone is an essential on my October playlist. And finally, I don't know if this is cheating, but I have to mention two songs here because I can't talk about one without talking about the other if we're talking about songs that are featured in the movie Beetlejuice. And I'm pretty sure every single one of you <laughs> knows exactly which two songs I'm gonna mention. Deo and Jump in the Line by Harry Belafonte. As soon as these songs start playing, I'm instantly seeing their respective scenes in my head. I mean, just mentioning Beetlejuice makes me think of those two songs, even if the discussion doesn't have anything to do with the music in the movie. <laughs> That dinner scene and that final like dancing scene just use the music so expertly. And just like the Ghostbuster song, I feel like the songs perfectly match the tone of the movie. Like both are a little bit silly, a little bit goofy, um, and the music kind of fits that. The energy anyway. <laughs> And again, like Ghostbusters, like how do you not get hype listening to those two songs? It's just, it's instantaneous. <laughs> Thank you so much to Dice for having me on to talk music. I feel like we don't talk about music in horror movies enough, whether it's like the score or the soundtrack, so I'm always down to talk music. Um, I will also be haunting the comment section of this video to see what y'all's favorite horror movie songs are. And that's it for me. Stay strange, friends. Trick or Treat by Fast Way from Trick or Treat 1986. Honestly, the entire soundtrack for Trick or Treat is awesome, but it's this song that stuck out to me. Obviously because it's the one featured in the trailer, and because it shares the same title as the movie. It's a very high energy song that captures the metal tone of the movie. It's extremely catchy and fun to listen to. Time Warp by the Rocky Horror Picture Show cast from Rocky Horror Picture Show 1975. Ah, uh, yes, here's one that practically everyone knows, even if they haven't seen Rocky Horror. Surprisingly enough, this is a case of me having heard the song before I saw the movie. It's actually quite nostalgic for me, along with Over at the Frankenstein Place, because this song was included on a Halloween song compilation CD that I borrowed from the library. A real good party song, I have to say. It's fun, it's high energy, and upbeat. It's also one of the few songs, especially in the horror genre, that actually tells you how to dance to it. Don't Fear the Reaper by various people in various movies. <laughs> yes, I know, I can hear it now. Really? This one? The go-to for every horror director ever? I'll admit, this is a song that has been a touched overused when it comes to the horror genre. It's almost a stereotype by now. But you know what? I still like it. And similar to Pet Cemetery, I like several different versions of it. But the first time I ever heard Don't Fear the Reaper was at the end credits of The Frighteners. I can recognize it within the first few notes, and I'm sure many of you can too. This is a song that manages to bring an eerie sort of vibe to the story it's telling, not to mention the subject matter of it. So yeah, it's cliche and it's been used in a lot of different horror movies. But I doubt I'll be getting tired of it anytime soon. Come to Me by Deborah Holland. From Fright Night Part 2, 1988. Originally created by Brad Fidel for Fright Night 1985, there are technically three or so versions of this song. One is what we hear in Fright Night and it's instrumental. The other is Mr. Fidel himself singing it, which is also included on the soundtrack. But the one that I really enjoy is the one that is included in Fright Night Part 2. It's a beautiful song and holds immense ethereal vibes for me. It's sexy and fanciful, and exactly what you would imagine a vampire would use to lure their next victim with, and Deborah Holland's vocals add a lot to the already fantastic music. Pet Cemetery by the Ramones for Pet Cemetery, 1989. Obviously, Pet Cemetery is directly linked to the Stephen King movie of the same name. The Ramones wrote it specifically for the film. With that being said, my first time hearing the song was not because of the movie. It was actually on one of those Halloween party 
CDs. You know the ones. And I just loved the eerie atmosphere and mental images that it conjured, without me having any knowledge of the source material. It combines the dread and unease of the story with this almost upbeat punk tone. The opening is iconic as well. This is why I have it included on my Halloween and horror playlists, as well as several covers of it. So those were some of our favorite horror movie songs. Be sure to check out Nightmare Maven's channel, which will be linked in the description below. Thank you as well to Maven for contributing to this video. It's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like to let us know. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and tell me what some of your favorite horror movie songs are. Maybe we have similar taste, or we can introduce each other to new songs. You can support the channel through my Patreon, where you would also get exclusive and early access to videos like this. Also, don't forget to share this video to help the channel grow and subscribe for more videos like this. See you later. Thank <music> you.